house is on fire! Oh my goodness, Snoozer, what happens next? They call 911! Check it. You should always call 911 if there is a fire. Then, the family gets out of the house. But guess what? What? They forgot about the puppy! He was snoozing in the attic! But the firefighters were on the way! Job, snoozer. Thanks! I wish this was real life. I wonder if I could really put a fire out with my trunkity trunk. You know what? Hmm. Yeah, wouldn't it be cool to visit like a, a real fire station? Yes! Yes! That would be the greatest thing to ever happen to me! What are you doing? Snoozer, I'm just thinking about where we're gonna go on today's reading road trip. Check, check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Well, snoozer, here are your three hints. Hint number one, it's big. Hint number two, it has a bunch of vehicles inside it. And hint number three, Dr. Dan spends a lot of time there. That's easy, a doctor's office. Nope. Huh? Checkers, are you lying to me? No, snoozer. Hey, think about your game earlier. Hmm. Dr. Dan spends time in houses that are on fire? This is fine. Why would he do that? No, oh, no, snoozer. Oh, maybe he'd be putting out that fire, but I'm talking about the other toy. The fire department? Yes, as soon as we were playing with the fire department, I started thinking it would be a great day to talk about fire safety. And Dr. Dan is a volunteer firefighter. And as a volunteer firefighter, he loves talking about fire safety. So let's pull up the map. We are headed to Rainbow Way. Once we cross through, we'll be right at our destination. Bowmansville Volunteer Fire Department. Along the way, we're gonna do a craft with Mrs. Hamilton. Oh, I hope it's a fire truck. Look, checkers, here come the books. You know what, Snoozer? I don't think we're gonna catch any books today. What? We can't do that. No, I have a different idea. We always catch the books. If we don't catch the books, we don't have any books to read. Oh, we will have books to read, Snoozer. How? Well, once in a while, Snoozer, it's a good idea to talk to an expert on a topic you want to learn more about. And that is why I thought today would be a great day to talk to Dr. Dan, a real firefighter, about fire safety. So we are still talking about books? Woo! The formula is still intact. That's right, Snoozer. Let's bring on Dr. Dan right now to talk about his favorite fire safety books. 
Hey Snoozer, I'm here at the training center of my fire department and Checkers asked if I could show you some of my favorite books about firefighting and fire safety. Now there were a lot to choose from, but I think I have two great books for you to read this week. The first book is Fire Fire by Gail Gibbons. I really like this book because it gives a great overview of how fire departments operate in many different settings. It talks about fire departments in the city, fire departments out in the country, even fire departments on the water, believe it or not. It goes through the various different steps that firefighters need to take to control any emergency, and it talks about all the communication that goes into fighting fires, from the 911 dispatchers, to the ambulance workers, to the firefighters, to everyone in between. It really highlights the importance of teamwork and how everyone has to be on the same page to keep everyone safe. This is a great book if you want to learn about firefighting in general and all the different people that are involved in an emergency. So this is a fantastic book to read, and in a little bit, I'll talk about another one. Daddy, can we check that book out? Absolutely, Snoozer. But before we do that, we still have a craft to make with Mrs. Hamilton. A fire truck! Just what I wanted! That's right, Snoozer. All right, well, let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and create your fire truck. Hey, Snoozer, are you ready to make your very own fire truck? Yes, I am! Well, great! You're gonna be needing the sheet and the sheet. So if you have scissors and glue, it's time to go. One, two, three, let's get cutting. Okay, well, I always like to place, whoa, the pieces where I want them first. And I know exactly where I'm going to put everything. And this goes at the very top. All right. We're not quite done. I think it's missing a ladder. So I'm going to get a black crayon. And making a ladder is pretty easy. Make one straight line this way. Another one, and then just some lines going down. That's better. Well, here's my fire truck. How does yours look? Here it is. Ah, great. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Boys and girls, would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own schnoozer. Come and see me! Anyway, back to the show. Here it is, Checkers! A fire truck! Wow, Snoozer, that is a sleek looking fire truck. It looks really fast. Wait a minute, is that you in there? Yes. I want to sit right here and ride in the fire truck today. I hope we can. Yeah, me too, Snoozer. But we still have another book to talk about. So let's bring on Dr. Dan right now to talk about his second fire book. The second book is Firefighter's Handbook by Megan McCarthy. This is an awesome book to read if you're interested in actually becoming a firefighter, whether a volunteer firefighter or a career firefighter. It goes through all the training that's needed to become a firefighter, all the skills you need to learn, all the tools you need to learn how to use, and all the trucks you need to learn how to drive. This book also talks about all the different ways that you can fight a fire. Fighting it with a fire extinguisher, fighting it with a fire hose, fighting it on the water, fighting it in the sky all these different ways that firefighters get the job done. It also talks about some different skills you might need when you become a firefighter, including responding to medical emergencies and other emergencies like search and rescue. It even goes into life when you're back at the station, how you cook, how you sleep, what you need to do like washing the trucks and keeping everything clean. If you're interested in becoming a firefighter, or maybe you know someone who's a firefighter and want to learn more about what they do, 
this book is absolutely for you. So those are just two great books that you can read about firefighting. Of course, there's many, many more, and the best place to find them is at your local library. Checkers, can we check that book out too? Of course we can, Snoozer. But before we do that, we still have one more thing left to do today. Oh yeah, the fire hall. The fire hall, Snoozer. We've arrived at Rainbow Way. And if we want to cross through safely, we need to change into our safety suits. All right, Snoozer, here we go. Three, two, one. Going through the rainbow. You should change your batteries on your smoke detector twice a year. Seatbelts save about 15,000 lives each year. You should always have a grown-up with you when you go swimming. 70% of firefighters are volunteers. The library has tons of books about safety. Visit the library to learn more. Hey guys. Well, welcome to the fire department. This is where we keep everything that we use. All our trucks, all our hose, all our tools, all our gadgets. It's all right here. Dr. Dan, when do we go to stop a fire? Well, Snoozer, we don't know when or where a fire's gonna be, but we're always prepared. Oh wait, that might be one right now. Fire department, report of a large can of fire at the junkyard at 725 Main Street. Multiple possible exposures to buildings and vehicles. Well, that's a real fire. I better get my gear on. Why don't you guys come watch? We got a few extra seats. Why don't you guys come along? What do you say, snoozer? Let's go now. If you would like to email Checkers and Snoozers, send your emails to checkers at checkerslibrarytv.com. We always look forward to hearing from you. Fire Command, the truck is on location. What do you got burning back there? I have a garbage can on fire with multiple exposures. I need water right away.
thank you guys so much for helping us. It turns out we really needed the extra hands. Just doing our job. Yeah, well, we're happy that fire didn't turn into anything bigger. By the way, what started that fire? Carelessness checkers, it turns out they were burning some stuff in that junkyard and they didn't put the fire out safely. When you have a fire outside, you have to be absolutely sure that you always extinguish it completely before you walk away. Hey, it's the books! Oh yeah, Snoozer, those are the books we talked about. Yes, yeah, Snoozer, and actually, I just finished these. You wanna borrow them? Yes, please! Thank you, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Snoozer, you did do it all by yourself. Great job. Wow, you've become a lot better of a reader lately, Snoozer. Two books in one night. Thanks. It was a great story. So many twists and turns. Yes, and now Dr. Dan will have his books back. And pretty soon, we are going to be going to another very, very exciting place and learning incredibly cool things on our next reading road trip. <laughs>